Shalom. Welcome to my inn. The finest inn in all Bethlehem. The only inn in Bethlehem. We are so, have so many people here. So many people I've never seen before. We got sleeping, people sleeping on, by the water jugs, over on the tables and chairs. I even gave up my room. It was for a good price, I'll tell you that. Ah, uh, this census. It's bad, good for the pocketbook. Bad for the back. I've been working so hard. But it's been a lot of money. And I know Herod's had something to do with this census. That's why we had to come all the way back to the ancestral home. I feel for these people traveling all over the world. It's not always been good. Let me tell you about what happened late last night. You see, there was a knock on the door. I was getting ready to find a place to lay down myself. There was a couple. They came from Nazareth. They were looking for a place to stay. His name was Joseph. Her name was Mary. And she was pregnant. She looked so pregnant, I thought she was going to give birth right there at my doorstep. And I wasn't going to allow that. And there was no place in here for her to lay, to be private, and have that baby. And I was not going to let a daughter of Abraham wander the streets of Bethlehem looking for a place to stay. I told him, wait. And I ran out to my stable, moved the animals around, cleaned the straw out, put fresh straw in there, came back in, got blankets, and took them out to the stable. I gave him a comfortable place. I said, are you comfortable? He, Joseph said, we are, but we can't pay for this. We have no money. I said, don't worry about that. I sent the boy to get the midwife, and I went inside to take care of some things. The midwife came. And as I was staying, coming back to the stable, Joseph was standing outside. He said, we have to stand outside. That's what we men do. With that, we heard the baby crying. Joseph said, we can't pay for the midwife. I said, don't worry about it. I'll handle it. And the midwife came out and said, it's a boy. I said, congratulations, Mosul Tov. Look, I'm Yahweh be praised. And Joseph said, but we have no money. Don't worry about that. Yahweh blesses those who help the needy. And you are the neediest people I've met tonight, so Yahweh will bless me. With that, Joseph went in to be with the babe and Mary. I looked up the sky, praise Yahweh. Such a beautiful sky, so clear that I could count the stars. Yahweh has blessed me with this beautiful night. I looked up on the hill. I saw a light. It was not a campfire light. It was brighter. So I went up to see what the shepherds were doing. And there, before the shepherds, the angel of the Lord. Another great blessing. And the angel spoke and said, Do not be afraid. I bring you tidings of great joy for tonight. In the city of David is born Messiah, and you will find him lying in a manger. With that, more angels appeared, singing praises to God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace, goodwill to all men. Such a blessing. I cannot tell you how many blessings I've had tonight. The money for the end helping the needy and the beautiful sky and seeing angels. With that, the shepherds got up and left their sheep alone. I'd never seen that before, shepherds leaving their sheep. But they did, and they went, and I followed them. And they went into the stable, my stable. And they went in, and there was Mary and Joseph and the babe, just as the angel said it would be. And the shepherds looked and they were happy. And they left to tell everybody Messiah was born. I crept in. 
And Joseph said, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. Just perplexed, understood, not understanding. The angel said, the babe is Messiah. Is that true? And Joseph said, yes. With that, I shook my head. He said, what's wrong now? He said, Messiah should be born in a palace surrounded by luxury and Levites and Cohen praising Yahweh, not by shepherds in a stable and an innkeeper. Joseph said, you were the only one who would listen. You were the only one who would wake up. And I came over and looked at the baby, and the baby smiled at me. I said, oh, another blessing. And Mary asked me, do I want to hold the baby? Oh, yes, I love holding the baby. But my hands are dirty. Let me go in and wash my hands. And Joseph said, if I could spare some clean linen and water, he would appreciate it. I said, clean linen and water from Messiah? I'd give my entire in and all the money to Messiah. This is the most wonderful day. I went in and got the linen and bowl of water and sat down and thought a minute. And you guys came in. And I told you, I thought I had a dream. But it was not a dream. Because here's the bowl. And there's the linen. So what I said was true. Messiah has been born and he's in my stable. Wake up everybody in the inn. Tell them Messiah has been born. And if they want to see Messiah, they need to go out to the stable. As for me, I get to hold Messiah. I get to hold Messiah. Shalom.